Yo, my people, them. CFC, Realist Blue, back with another video. And this is the match preview for the Chelsea versus Brighton game in the Premier League tomorrow. Kickoff is at 2 p.m. We'll join my watch along from 1 p.m. And we can discuss the team news. And you can get my reaction as the game goes on. But you guys, leave your score predictions in the comments section below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new Chelsea videos from me. And yeah, man, help me get 700 subscribers before the end of the week. Thank you for your support. And I hope you guys have a good weekend. Hopefully Chelsea can get a W because we really need it still. But, hey, man. So, for team form and stats going into this match, Brighton are eighth in the Premier League, while Chelsea are tenth. There are six points separating both teams. And in the last five Premier League games for both teams, Chelsea have two L's, two draws, one W, while Brighton have one win, three draws, one L. Like, clearly, Brighton are the informed team going into this game, especially after they won their last match and we lost ours. Like, Brighton have the momentum going into this game. So we have to make sure that we can do our thing. Because realistically, I'd be so honest, man. We don't win this game. It is so long because there's already six points separating us from eighth. We're trying to get into the top six, top five, what we ideally want. But Brighton, Stamford Bridge tomorrow. It's not going to be an easy game. This is a team that relatively is a bogey team for us. And even though they have injuries, yeah, man, it's not going to be, it's going to be, um, it's going to be a difficult match. So hopefully we can get the W. But you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the form going into this game. Do you think it's going to play a big factor in tomorrow's game? Let me know in the comments section below. So. For the head-to-head -head record going into this game, Brighton have won twice in the last five in the Premier League, while Chelsea have won once. The other two games have been draws. The mad thing about this for me is the fact that Chelsea haven't beaten Brighton since 2020. Like, that was Lampard's second season. And Rhys James scored a bad man goal. Scored a bad man goal. Bam, lick the ball, top bins, and which is, I believe, was his first Premier League goal. And what a goal that was. But ever since then, Brian have been some bogey ass team, fam. We've drawn numerous amount of times with them. And last season was the first time they had ever done a double over us. Like, completely dismantling us, if I'm going to be quite frankly honest. They dealt with us last season, so. And we was abysmal last season, so. It's not a surprise, especially with the kind of football that Brighton play. Obviously, with the way they are in, in the Premier League, they're not too far away from Champions League places or European places in general. So this is a team that has very, very good quality. Like they have the Evan Fergusons, like they have Joao Pedro, Matoma. These are guys that are serious threats. And people that we should be looking at tomorrow and hopefully the team can shut them down because if these guys don't play well, then they'll just make it easy for us to win. But we have to wait and see. Not to mention that someone like Danny Robeck seems to always keep scoring when he comes up against Chelsea. The last two times he's come to Stamford Bridge, I believe he's scored. So, yeah, man, it's going to be an interesting game. Brighton with the... Most recent head-to-head -head record, they are looking like the favourites. And for me, they seem like a very, very bogey team. Because even in games where we're meant to win, they can end up just scoring. So we have to wait and see, obviously, tomorrow. But um, I want you guys to let me know your thoughts and opinions on the head-to-head -head record. Do you think it will play a factor in tomorrow? Do you think we will end Brighton's winning streak? Because we haven't won against them in the last four matches. So you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on whether you think Chelsea are going to win tomorrow or do you think we're going to lose? Let me know in the comment section.
for low. Now it's time for some key player focus. Some key player focus. And in this, this just means that the areas of the pitch where there'll be jewels and can this jewel eventually win the game for either team. I'm going to look at two situations here. So Matoma, the left winger of Brighton, coming up against a right back of either Kaiseido or Axel de Sassi. The reason why these two are going to be the right backs for tomorrow, one of the two, is because Reese James suspended from the last game. He is not available. And to add insult to injury, Malo Gusto isn't in the squad either due to the fact that he is injured. So I'd be so honest, man. It's going to be very difficult because Matomo, 1v1, is a very good um, winger. One of the best wingers in the league. He is a player that Brighton seem to always give the ball to and is, the for me, their biggest threat going forward, especially in the team that they have right now. So it's like, can Axel de Sassi or Moises Caicedo shut him down to stop him being threatening as he normally is? It's not going to be easy, but hopefully they can do it because if we don't, it will be long for us because Brighton seem to always have a good game against Chelsea. They seem to score. And more often than not, because our right side is weak this week, um, they could take advantage and end up winning due to the fact that Matoma could be on his A game. But we are going to have to wait and see on that one. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on that duel between Matoma and Chelsea's right back, whoever plays right back this weekend. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, Nicholas Jackson up against Brighton's centre-backs, who will not have Lewis Dunk. They are riddled with a lot of injuries as well. So they all have their strongest centre-backs. And hopefully this can allow Nicholas Jackson to have a very good game and hopefully score another goal. He did score against Brighton earlier this season in the Carabao Cup, not in the Premier League, but in the Carabao Cup, he did get on the score sheet. So hopefully this is another game where he can come up against Brighton and we can get a W. Because even though we haven't beaten them in our last four Premier League games, we have beaten them in the Carabao Cup this season and we did beat them in pre-season, I believe. So hopefully the form this season can continue and we can get a W. But you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the um, the duels between the centre-backs and Nicholas Jackson, as well as Matomo and Chelsea's right-back, whoever will play right-back this weekend. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now it's time for the injuries and suspensions. I'm going to start off with Chelsea. Our, our suspended parties for this game is Reese James. With the two yellow cards, he will not be in this game. Neither will Mark Kukurea after him getting his fifth booking of the season. So he is suspended and none of those two will be participating against Brighton. Um, in terms of injuries, Romeo Latvia, it's not looking like he's going to be in the squad. Um, he's undergoing his rehabilitation. Mauricio Pochettino did say in his press conference that Christopher Ngungu could be in the squad. He, there is another training session that will be going on today. And then we'll find out tomorrow if he will be in the squad. So hopefully Nkunku will be there. Fingers crossed. Malo Gusto, he is injured, so he won't be participating. Just like Trevor Chalabar, just like Ben Chilwell, Carney Chikuri Mako, and Wesley Fofano. All of these guys will be missing from the Chelsea side. And it's not ideal. We're, going to, we're guaranteed to have at least eight guys missing and potentially nine if Nkunku doesn't make the squad tomorrow. So hopefully. We can have Nkunku in the squad, but hopefully these guys can come back from injury as soon as possible, inshallah. But now I'm going to move on to the um, I'm going to move on to the Brighton injuries, and for Brighton now, I'll be so honest with you, them guys there, they are going to be without Solly March, Lewis Donk, Esther Pinion. Adam Webster, Mohamed Dahoud, um, and Cisco, Danny Welbeck, like Tarek Lamptey. They have hella injuries. 
as many injuries as Chelsea. And boy, like all of these guys are mixed, are mixed between injuries and suspensions. But none of these guys who I just mentioned for Brighton will be playing against Chelsea. And yeah, man, this is the weakest side we'll be able to play against Brighton since they've come to Premier League, in my opinion. So hopefully the team can get the W because if we don't, we are really, we are really not it. So mind them, get the job done tomorrow, please, because Brian are not going to be at full strength. And for a team that keeps on beating us or keeps on not losing to us, that needs to end tomorrow or else it'll be five games in a row that we haven't beaten Brighton in the Premier League. So hopefully we can do the job, hopefully. But you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the injuries slash suspensions in the comment section below. So now it's time for my preferred XI. And you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Goalkeeper for me is obviously going to be Robert Sanchez. Hopefully, he has another clean sheet like he did against Brighton in the Carabao Cup. Right back, I'm going to have to go with um, Axel de Sassi. I don't want to see, um, I don't want to see Caicedo play there. But yeah, Axel de Sassi, right back. Centre backs, it's going to have to be um, Thiago Silva and Benoit Badi Ashur. Then our left back. Obviously, it's going to have to be Levi Cole because Chua was injured, um, Kukurea suspended. And on top of that, Pochettino doesn't like to play Ian Matson left back. So, yeah, most likely Levi Cole will play there. And, yeah, that's going to be my back four. And then in defensive the midfield, I'm going to have to go with Enzo Fernandez and Moises Caicedo. Then on the left, has to be Raheem Sterling. The man in form right now has to be him on the left. On the right, I'm going to go with Cole Palmer. In cam, I'm going to have to go with Conor Gallagher. And then as striker, Nicholas Jackson. That's who I'm going to put up there. I know there's a lot of chat about him recently, but I'm going to be honest. He has been playing the most. And I don't see Pochettino necessarily going to drop him. So I want him to start because he needs to get some rhythm and he needs to start scoring. He did score against Brian earlier this season. And I do believe he scored against them in preseason as well. So he has good form against them. Hopefully he can get a goal tomorrow and to add another goal to his tally in the Premier League. So, yeah, man, that is my preferred XI. You guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below so now it's time for my score prediction slash expectation for this game my expectation is a chelsea w we are not full strength but neither is brighton our talent and our squad is better than brighton's so we should definitely get the win it doesn't mean we will but we should in my opinion and one nil is my score prediction the reason for that is because against the big teams, we seem to score a lot of goals. But against teams that will set up defensively well, have good shape, um, we don't necessarily score that much. And Brighton, even though they have conceded a lot of goals, I don't feel like we are going to take advantage of it. I think it will be a, t a very, very tight game, which is why I'm leading towards a 1-0 Chelsea win. We get anything more than that, and that is brilliant. Man just needs a W more than anything. Regardless of how we get it, three points is the most important thing because if we don't, that is what? Seven points, nine points behind eighth place? Yeah, we can kiss European places goodbye at this rate, fam, because if we don't get a W now, it's going to be long. There'll be back-to-back -back L's in the Premier League. and We haven't even done that this season, in my opinion, so... Hopefully, the team can get the W. But you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below on your score predictions. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for more Chelsea content. 
MCFC with this blue, and I'm out. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.